Everything after this moment will now only determine I want what's your mine. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Year after year, those women have sat at auditions for parts that are girlfriends and sidekicks and um, fun neighbors. And for the first time ever, all three of those women have their own shows. Yeah, you see Taraji Henson get up and cheer when Viola wins, and you see Carrie in tears when Viola wins, because they've all been together for so long. And to be able to applaud one of them getting up there and winning that award is everything. The people who've influenced me most in my career are, in terms of writers, probably people like Toni Morrison. Whoopi Goldberg was a really big deal for me when I was growing up, because I saw her show live on Broadway and it made me realize that you could write anything as long as it was creative and beautiful and funny and interesting and people would watch it. I was on the beach with like all my friends, or like all my friends with me. I don't know, we're all together. The first people I can remember believing in my talent was my parents. I'm very lucky that I have parents who, when I was three and literally dictating stories into a tape recorder and bringing them to my parents, my mother would type them up. They really did think I was creative and they really did appreciate creativity. I always knew as a kid that I was a writer, but I never really knew what I wanted to do. I always believed that that wasn't a real job. So I thought that all of the things that interested me, like maybe I'd be a doctor, maybe I'd be a lawyer, maybe I'd go work in Washington. I always thought that those were the things that I actually wanted to do for a living, instead of understanding that those were the things I wanted to research and write about for a living. Admit you killed Trisha Stanley and had my client David Allen set up for her murder. That is enough. I think I was really lucky to uh, along the way meet people who were really encouraging. When Grey's first got picked up as a show and it was really popular right out of the box, freaking out because I didn't understand what was happening. Winnie Holzman, who did my so-called life, called me up and said, do you want to go out to lunch? Because you must be freaking out. And I'd never met her before. And we went out to lunch and that was really wonderful. It's not like there's a weird competitiveness that's happening in Hollywood. When I first got a show, somebody said, you have to come to this dinner that they have. It's Women Hollywood Showrunners. You've got to come and it's kind of a secret and it's great. And I went to this dinner and they told me everything they knew about running shows. The women that I have met in this town have always been really embracing. I think the way we're going to make television continue to look like the way the world looks is really simple. I mean, it's who is telling the stories. Because the people telling the stories are the people deciding who's, who you see on screen. They're the people deciding who are in the writer's rooms. So They're the people who are deciding on the crew. The person who runs the show runs the show. So to me, it's really about raising the next generation of showrunners. Because the thing that I hear continuously is, well, there's no one qualified. It's so hard to find people. It's not. I have a writer's room full of people. So I say raise them.